I'm at Sukarno Hatta Airport in Jakarta. Behind me is the crisis center for Lion Air JT610 that crashed on the 29th of October at around 6.20 um, a.m. Behind me are the families of the victims that were on board. There were 189 people on board, and right now the search and rescue team are focusing their search underwater off the coast of West Java. I spoke to some of the uh, family members, and all they want is an update on how the search and rescue team are going to retrieve the bodies of their loved ones. As you can imagine, this is absolutely heartbreaking for the friends and families of those on board. And investigations into this crash is being taken very seriously as well. Uh, the same um, airline flew from Bali to Jakarta on the 28th of October, and engineers of Lion Air did notice some problems. But before the airline uh, took off on the 29th of October, apparently those issues were already cleared. And this is not the first time that an incident like this has happened to Lion Air. And this particular uh, airline, JT610, is relatively new. It joined Lion Air in August of 2018, and it had only around 800 flying hours, so that is uh, considered new. But President Joko Widodo released a statement on the 29th of October as well, and he said that right now the main priority of the search and rescue agency should be to retrieve the bodies of the victims. And of course, when disasters like this strike, uh, authorities want to make sure that the family and friends of um, those on board are being taken care of properly. Silkina Luwalia, CGTN, Jakarta.